Hi, good morning. This is Rachel with Heart Body B. Um, I have some tips and tricks to start off your day, about 10 minutes to start your day in your body. If you have a yoga block, it's super helpful. I have two different sizes, um, but all you really need is one. Um, we have a lot of twists in our body. If we're right-handed, we're usually left-legged. I have some special twists. I have a little bit of a scoliotic pattern. I have a shorter right leg. I have a surgically altered foot. It's a mess, right? No, but we all have stuff. And then how can we just balance our pelvis every day? How can we open up our chest? You know, our whole life is in front of us. Uh, so just to balance our body and um, yeah, feel, feel good, right? I like to take um, the larger block and my big toes parallel and be in the center of my ankles and just squeeze it and really squeeze my butt. So my adductors are turned on. Is turned on. Pulling up through my pelvic floor, um, that's the first yoga lock, and then navel to spine. And we're just gonna start in mountain pose. So I feel like a line of energy is coming up through my sternum, and then my chin is just ever so slightly tucked, where there's a long line coming up through my neck. And you can maybe even feel that point on your head. Yeah. You can roll your shoulders down and back. Nice open palms, relaxed fingers, relaxed toes, and squeezing. You can even keep a nice bend in your knee, and then you can re-squeeze. And a few breaths here, I'm really squeezing that block between my legs. And it feels a bit like fire. The inner line of our legs get short, so it's a great time to stretch that. And it's gentle, and you're also getting the muscle engagement, the seat engagement, and then just turning on your posture for the day. I'll show it from the side. My feet are a couple inches apart. You could be six inches apart wherever you need to be with the block. You want to have a nice lumbar curve. You might be feeling a stretch in your hip flexors, which is good. Yeah. So after we've found mountain pose for, you know, as long as it feels good, uh, maybe 10 breaths, you can come to the wall, maybe 12 inches, 16 inches, micro bend in your knees. You want those soft. I'm like, still squeezing the block with my adductors navel to spine, and I'm going to reach up to the wall any amount, and I'm going to look at my hands, pressing with my back into the wall. You might start feeling your shoulder stretch here, and if you can, stretch up as much as you can. You can go left, right, left, right, navel to spine, maybe your elbows touch, and then if you can, Bend your knees, sternum to the wall. I'm squeezing my armpits together. My elbows are now touching. I'm squeezing my elbows together. And for me, I like to turn on my right seat because it's the weaker. And I'm making sure my weight is balanced in my pelvis and in both of my feet. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing the block. This is a back bend, opening my throat and my chest, I'm able to spine. If you're feeling this in your back, you squeeze that block, come out a little bit maybe, I'm able to spine and that should protect your back. This is great, great, great before back pain. And breathe. Breathe in and come up. I recommend two sets of that. Woo. Feels like a big release for me. Take a little bit of a break from that one. We'll squeeze the block. Big toes are still parallel. Opening up my hips. And then I'm coming forward to the wall any amount. If you need to move your feet closer to the wall, you can. My seat is on. I'm really pressing through my right foot because I pressed mostly stand over to my left foot and have more weight there. And reach your arms up, look up. Getting a nice calf stretch now, but I'm also still really squeezing that block. I'm gonna walk 
my hands over to the right. I'm pressing down with my right hand into the wall. It's providing some stability and also a bit of a crunch in my abdominals. Navel to spine and reach up any amount. You can be on your fingertips here. You can really press into the wall for the support and look up, chin and chest up. Breathe into the side left ribs. A few breaths here. Walk your hands back up. It really supports your back to walk your hands up slowly. Other side, pressing in left hand, walking over, and really pressing my right hip to the wall. I'm getting a nice stretch in my calves. You might be getting hip flexors. Navel to spine, looking up. and breathe to come up. Finally, one chest opener. Squeeze your adductors, roll your shoulders back. You can even press your hands into that block and breathe. Look up any amount. This could be good, this could be great. You can really press into the block for support. Squeezing, squeezing that block. My adductors are on fire. If you can, it feels good. Breathe into your chest. My triceps are on. Support that. Breathe in and up. Breathe your arms up, down, and we'll finish back in mountain pose. I can't imagine a better way to wake up. That was about seven minutes. Um, I would do a second set of all of that, and it makes me feel great the whole day.